Hi Cancer, welcome to your spirit messages for the month of April. This is Miri, Miss Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Cancer, I decided to bring this series back. If you're familiar with my channel, I did them a few months back, um, the end of last year into the beginning of the year, and then I stopped them for a while. Um, if you did participate in the polls that I had on my community tab, um, this was one of the choices. There were some choices here, and this is one of the readings that was voted to come back. So I hope you enjoy this. Leave me some feedback, comments below on how you like these. I'll continue them uh, for a little while longer here again and uh, see how it goes. So thank you. And uh, let's see what we have for you. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter, male or female watching. Doesn't really matter. I guess take what messages uh, resonate for you, but this is messages from spirit. So it should sort of be like um, messages of advice, guidance for you. Or uh, just take what resonates and we'll see how it goes. So, Cancer, let's see what we have for you. Welcome, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe during this time. Okay, Cancer. Cancer, what do we have for Cancer at this time? I'm going to pull three oracles from each deck. And then I'll pull probably a tarot card on each one to give a little more clarity. And then I have these cards here I bought actually at the Dollar Tree. And there were two little decks I combined together. And they're called uh, prayer cards, or you can call them affirmation cards. And I'll pull one of those at the end. So a little extra something. All right, Cancer. Um, you can find everything you need to know in the description box below, as well as the first uh, pinned comment, decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading. Oh, way too many. Um, if you'd like to tip, donate, send, send a gift. All that information is below. And if you're not comfortable exchanging energy through uh, PayPal, the Super Chat is open during the premiere only. So let's see what we have for Cancer. And if you do, thank you. And your playlists are below, too, for your general and love readings. If you'd like to go back and watch past readings, I consider all my readings timeless. So, Spirit, what else do we have for Cancer? So let's see what we have for you. This is the Butterfly Oracle. We have spiritual growth. So some of you could be connecting and um, growing spiritually to your spirit and angel team here. Passed over loved ones, uh, ancestral energy. We have new career. Some of you may be going on a new spiritual career path here. And then we have be true to you. Wow. So this is a strong message. So if some of you have been thinking about and this could be past, present, or future energy, so please keep that in mind also. But if some of you have been thinking about being true to yourself and following <clears throat> your true calling and going in a new direction, a new career, and it could be a spiritual path here. Wow. Okay, I think I might have got this for you before in readings a uh, long time ago. I mean, my channel is over a year old. There are like 700 something videos, so I remember getting this, I think for you, Cancer. Could have been for you or another sign, but I do remember getting this message before. So, Cancer, Cancer. What messages, this is the Flower Therapy Oracle, do we have for Cancer at this time? So if some of you have been waiting for confirmation or um, a message, and you're wondering, I don't know if I should follow and start uh, some sort of side job, side career, or try to start a new career in a spiritual uh, field. This is saying to be true to you and follow that. All right. Let's see what other messages we have for you. Cancer. So we have here. Wow, I just got this for uh, Aquarius, but we have new beginnings. Wow. Take this as an opportunity to rise from the ashes stronger and more determined. So there's your new beginning in your new career. Wow. Trust. Wow, I got this card too. Just got this for Aquarius. Carnation. You can trust the people around you. They are earth angels sent, sent to give you the guidance you seek. This could be also spiritual guidance to trust your gut, your intuition, and your spiritual and your angel guidance to trust that wow and then here we have be positive your thoughts can shape your experience so be sure to focus on the positive so if you've been having you know people around you 
saying negative things or, you know, you get into negative mind space. Well, maybe I can't do it. Maybe it's not for me. Maybe, you know, it's just not going to work out. You know, it's just telling you to be positive and just trust. And you have two new beginnings here. New beginnings, new career. Be true to you, spiritual growth. Wow. This is one big message, Cancer. All right. So let's get some of these for you for cancer please thank you so much for cancer please thank you so much what messages do we have for cancer what messages winter solstice reflection so you may be reflecting on this quite a bit or maybe over this winter season you've reflected on this quite a bit not sure what to do being at kind of like a standstill and look at that lotus flower unfoldment so this is like something you know the lotus flower comes out of blooms beautifully out of muddy murky waters so just know that uh something beautiful can come of this dragonfly emergence so wow so we have two cards of like emergence and unfoldment of like that same energy Kind of like an energy of, you know, emergence is kind of like coming out. Kind of like when a caterpillar comes out into a butterfly. Emerges from that cocoon, totally transformed. An unfoldment, something unfolding or um, letting things unfold naturally. And emerge as true you that you are. So maybe time to come out of this frozen uh, standstill here instead of just thinking reflecting and not taking any action now is the time to emerge and just let unfold things unfold naturally because you have two new beginnings here wow so let's get some I'm gonna pull one tarot on each for a little extra clarity for you cancer if you do like my style cancer how I read if you're new please feel free you can check out my channel like what you see feel free to like share subscribe comment I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get five uh, readings a month. You get a love, a general, a singles, a spirit messages, and a bonus. All right. I was just thinking, did I miss one? It's about five readings. And I may be, uh, in a few months, um, I may be adding extended readings on Vimeo, but not until this whole uh, pandemic goes away because I am considered in essential worker. I do have a regular full-time job. So uh, that is my morning job, nine to five job. And I'm considered an essential worker. So I have to go to work. And we've been doing tons of overtime. We got extremely busy as we sell um, supplies that are needed. And we ship to healthcare facilities and homes and residential. So anyway, so let's see what we have here for spiritual growth. Four of Cups energy here. So this, I feel like this woman, you know, thinking and contemplating and the Four of Cups is kind of like feeling bored and blah and like just icky. That's my icky blah card, you know, just kind of bored and melancholy, you know. Maybe, you know, whatever you're doing now in your life, you're just bored with it already, feeling kind of melancholy and you're ready for something new. And maybe you've gone on a path or maybe you are on a path of spiritual growth. And now you're really thinking, you know, thinking, contemplating as this winter solstice about a possible new career. So, all right. So what do we have for this new career? So we have the Queen of Swords energy here. There's always, though she looks kind of nasty, but um, Queen of Swords always reminds me, along with the air energy, of divine source, divine energy. So I feel like this is divine energy coming in here saying this new opportunity is here for you. And that is the, you know, universal energy, spiritual ener energy, divine energy here, spiritual growth coming in and saying, you know, <clears throat> here is your truth and your clarity. The sword's energy is having truth and clarity, cutting away things no longer serving, um, standing up, not backing down, telling it like it is, open, honest, truthful communication. So open communication with source here i feel on this path so be true to you 
So we have the Hangman in reverse. That is odd, too, because I just got that for Aquarius in reverse also. Oh, no, it's not in reverse. I'm sorry. It's upright. So <clears throat> this is thinking, contemplating, also gaining enlightenment, new perspectives, being kind of like in a pause, a standstill, stagnant. So if you've been, you know, I'm getting that, like, be true to you in that hangman pose. It's like you're not really being true to yourself. You're kind of like <clears throat> submerging it down, kind of like we have emergence here. And just kind of um, living your life day to day, but not really being true to yourself. So now we have here new beginnings, justice. So there you go. So this is truth, the clarity, scales balancing out getting justice, receiving justice in some way, shape, or form. <coughs> Sorry, I am also getting here with the justice. This new beginning, this new path will bring you the balance and the justice and the clarity that you seek in life. You know, getting growth and abundance there and just things getting better. So... What is this trust about? So we do have the lovers here, but um, it doesn't have to technically be a lover lover, but this is making a choice that is like totally aligned with you, that you to totally love. And I'm also getting like that spiritual, divine, loving energy coming in to try to unite you here with your true calling and to trust that divine energy coming in that you can make this choice that is totally aligned with your uh, true self, who you truly are. All right, so what is the positive? Be positive about for Cancer, the Emperor. So yeah, Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter. Taking lead, taking control, taking charge, kind of energy, going for it, being that Emperor, being your own business owner or something like that, um, <clears throat> entrepreneurship kind of energy, a boss or something like that. So, I mean, if some of you aren't thinking about going down like a spiritual career, maybe, you know, you want to change careers, but at the same time, you're also becoming spiritual and maybe also going down a new spiritual path. Maybe that is leading you to be who you truly are. And maybe finally like living out your calling and what you feel like you're really meant to do. And maybe it has nothing to do with working in the spiritual field. But maybe that has led you to finally make the choice here, lovers, to do what you feel like you've always wanted to do. So however that resonates for you. And there's that emperor taking the lead and doing that. So winter solstice reflection here. So we have the nine of cups. So happiness, joy, wish fulfillment. Here with the Nine of Cups energy. So, I mean, you could have been daydreaming about your wish fulfillment, about happiness and joy in your life, I, you know, happy home and family kind of energy, you know, how th this would affect your home life, your life, how much happier you could be, you know, having this dream and this wish, but not really taking any action of it. I feel like it's just uh, a daydreamy kind of energy. But Spirit is saying here, you can have your wishes and dreams come true and have total happiness and joy. All right, so what is this lotus flower unfoldment for Cancer? The Empress. So we have the Emperor and the Empress. Wow. So we have divine, two divine counterparts here. So this is knowing your value and your worth, the birth of something new. You know, the Empress embodies all the energy of the deck, all the kings, all the queens, you know, passionate go-getter, truth, clarity, stable and grounded, loving, compassionate, and nurturing, and it's all the breath of something new. So, and knowing your value and worth. So this is, you know, saying here, just let things unfold naturally. You know, you have value, you have worth, what is meant for you will come as long as you, you know, take action and listen to your heart and your soul. And, uh, just, just let it unfold naturally. Beautiful things are to come here. New things. Lotus flower, like I say, grows out of the mud and the murky water. And the empress gives birth to new things. So, 
Then we have the dragonfly here with emergence for you. Wheel of Fortune here. So fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction. Um, things just getting better. So as you emerge as your true self and let things unfold naturally, trust your gut, your intuition, and know your value and your worth. Do what's best for you. Follow whatever you feel like you're led to do. Justice will come in here. And fate, destiny, divine timing. Things just getting better, going in the right, the right direction. But I feel like you may have to come out of this hangman pose and finally take some action in the emperor, empress energy. So bottom of the deck, five of swords. So I feel like that could be an energy of being kind of, you know, a little bit of ego or one-upping or getting ahead no matter what. You don't care how. But also an energy of not also not only doing it from a bad place, but either doing it from a bad place or doing it kind of like from a good place. Like you're going to do it no matter what you have to do. You know, either making sacrifices or whatever here to get your wish fulfillment. So it can be good, it can be bad. That's how I take it. I'm not getting any bad energy. Just, just like do what you have to do. Do what you feel like you need to do to get to where you want to go kind of energy. All right, so let's get... Let's get an affirmation, a prayer for you, Cancer, to wrap this up. <clears throat> to wrap this up, for you, Cancer. One card for Cancer, a prayer, affirmation for Cancer, please. Spirit, thank you so much. One prayer or affirmation for Cancer. Okay, let's take that one. So we have here, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So just know you can do here whatever you feel like your gut, your intuition is telling you to do, being true to yourself, whatever path you feel like you need to go on. And whoever strengthens you, if it's Christ, if it's what, who, whatever it is for you, doesn't necessarily have to be Christ. Um, it can be whoever it is for you or whatever it is for you. You can do... You can do what you are meant to do with whatever you feel, you know, if it's your spirit guides, your angel team, uh, whatever it is for you <laughs> that you can do, that you can do it. All right, uh, Cancer, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.